It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, from Cutler is great to uh, D. Rose will be fine. I mean, I keep hearing things, and, and the more that I keep hearing, they're the same people that say it. These are the same people now telling me none of this is LeBron James' fault out there in Cleveland. Here's a guy that goes back home with commercials. People just galvanize him around him like he's the Messiah. And it's Kyrie Irving's fault. It's going to be David Blatt's fault. And you know what? I can understand where LeBron's coming from. But when you score zero points and a half, and that's the first time since you were a rookie, you got to take some responsibility. And how much of this looks familiar to Cleveland Cavalier fans? You know what? I'm waiting for my teammates like he's in a flannel suit, like he's Red Arbuck. Jordan didn't do that. Jordan didn't do that. First of all, he didn't jump ship. Second of all, you know what? He said to his teammates, catch up with me. I'm the superstar. You're called the king. You don't wait for the, for the serfs to come and help you. Seriously. So the excuse making is rampant right now, and they're one in three, and I know that they're going to make the playoffs, and they may win it at the end. But so far, so bad for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And really, it's early, but who had them at one and three? Who had them at one and three? Mike North, Daily Herald, the Rebel Inside.